on the Iowa State University campus, Piriti Bayena takes the Ames community through voyages around the world where children and their parents experience crafts, play games, dance to music, try on clothing, and are enchanted by stories from different countries. Carla McCullough and her friends serve as peer mentors to ease the adjustment process of newly arrived international students. Zia Hawk shares his unique cultural perspective to increase knowledge and understanding of ISU students in teacher education about domestic and global diversity. Blythe Burkhart designs teaching modules to familiarize American students with the contributions of the world's indigenous people. Angela Eilering serves as a global ambassador informing Iowa State students, faculty, and staff about opportunities to study and work abroad which are available through ISU. Pira Vitali uses her cultural expertise to develop cross-cultural educational resources used by thousands of school children and citizens throughout Iowa. Khurram Alim helps translate U.S. laws regarding sexual assault, sexual harassment, and domestic abuse into many different languages for the international student community and their families. Shalini Amersi enhances the Performance Minority Theater Workshop members with dramatic arts techniques from her home country, India. What do all these students have in common? They are all members of the Culture Corps program at Iowa State University. The Culture Corps program is an outgrowth of the Iowa State University strategic plan to enhance undergraduate education and improve the campus climate. The program was conceived by the university's Office of International Students and Scholars and the Office of the Vice President for Student Affairs. Through the program, ISU faculty and staff are able to apply for funds with which to hire international students and U.S. students with an overseas experience to internationalize both curricular and co-curricular activities. The Culture Corps is a prime example of how the central administration can support students, faculty, and staff working together towards promoting cross-cultural understanding and sensitivity. Here are some of the faculty and staff the Culture Corps has sponsored and the students who help them. What we've done is take some of the more exciting case studies that we have available at CCARD, the Center for Indigenous Knowledge for Agriculture and Rural Development, and try to develop these into teaching modules that could be used at the university level. We now have uh, five of these teaching modules up on the internet and eventually uh, we will rework these with the help of some of the educational experts to make them more user-friendly for use in primary and secondary schools. I spend a lot of time working in the CCARD database looking for case studies to base the teaching modules on and uh, helps for those students to understand that people all over the world have um, good methods and good ideas that they are implementing in their own countries. We have a program that we call Weekend Voyagers International. It was founded on the idea that if people got to know folks from all over the world in a playful, enjoyable setting, they would be less likely to maintain myths and stereotypes about other groups of people. So we have organized occasional programs and we bring international students to children who then play together games and activities and make crafts that kids in other countries do as they're growing up. The opportunity to talk about your country is a, it's like a stress relief for you because you have it bottled up and you're always afraid you're gonna lose your culture or you're gonna forget when you've been in a country for so long. I was able to travel alongside with the children to go and get different experiences about the world. I also became more open-minded, you know, it's just you, you leave your ethnocentric ideas and you learn to accept other cultures. Angela has been working in the Study Abroad Center and as such she's been helping to promote study abroad in classroom presentations, speaking with her peers uh, in formal and informal settings about the international opportunities at Iowa State. And she's also been advising students on international opportunities and acting as a peer counselor in the Study Abroad Center. I can tell them from a student's perspective what it's like uh, to study abroad and to learn about other cultures and the benefits that they can gain through doing that. And I think the peer advising is really a great benefit because then they can understand from a student's point of view and they feel a lot more comfortable a lot of times talking to a student about 
what it's like to be abroad and away from their country and being totally immersed into another culture. So I think that helps quite a bit. Iowa State University has a unique service in the International Resource Center. Uh, we develop and distribute culture kits which contain not only printed information but artifacts such as masks and musical instruments which provide hands-on learning about world cultures. The benefits of the Culture Corps project um, bring us the opportunity to hire international students and particularly in an office that deals with international artifacts, this is a great asset to us. I've given a lot of information about my country and about my background, um, making other people understand more about my culture. I think that the ISU student benefited from my, um, my work in at the International Resource Center by um, interacting with me and seeing a different culture um, within my person and comparing it to their American culture. Uh, we have a project um, through the Department of Public Safety that uh, is doing outreach with the international student community in the area of victimization prevention. And our, our goal is to decrease the number of sexual assaults, domestic abuse, and sexual harassment um, issues for the international community. Typically, uh, we have a lot of information out there for the American population that knows English, but internationals coming in aren't aware of our laws and aren't aware of how to keep themselves safe while they're here at Iowa State. It is the nature of this project that, that it's made to benefit students out there, especially the international students. If there are 129 countries represented on campus, there are people from all those countries, there is a need to go out there and see how they think, how they talk, what their lang language is. And so in, in, in that way, in that way, to spread the word around, to get to help understanding people to people, within people, within communities. That's how it basically benefited. We did this particular project for the theater department. We did the Medea myth and we brought in international students to teach the discipline, dance and, and music to our cast. And we internationalized the Medea myth chorus. And so there were women that really represented other women from around the world. The greatest benefit was that they brought through the chorus women a, a multicultural costumes and jewelry and even with the Medeas they brought in Africa and you know different nations. It was so relevant because we were talking about abuse and you know battered women and it just went to show that even though it was written in you know American so-called American English and it was for an American audience, but even though we were women of different cultures and nationalities, we could, you know, with our costumes, say it happens even with us back home. And I think that it, uh, the community had a lot to learn with that. I'm in curriculum and instruction department, and I teach multicultural, non-sexist education classes to undergraduates and graduate students. So this project was to help us in the curriculum and instruction department diversify bring in international perspectives to this multicultural education uh, class that deals mostly with U.S. diversity. The ISU community benefited from my project because um, they had an insight into how issues of religion or um, sex or um, democracy or government were dealt in a cross-cultural perspective and since um, I was working with the College of Education I was very lucky to uh, communicate my message to student teachers so by doing that I think the message will not only be restricted to the Iowa State community but will be passed on to all the schools uh, and all those children that these student teachers will be teaching down the road. Well, the International Peer Assistance Program is a program that allows us to hire six uh, undergraduate students enrolled at Iowa State, and they help by providing assistance to international students on the Iowa State University campus. Because they serve as resource persons to um, international students, they know the campus really well. They've also interacted with many people across the university campus and thereby have increased awareness about international student issues, the concerns that they, that international students encounter when they first step foot on the Iowa State campus. 
Um, ISU international students benefited from our project by getting peer mentors. Um, they were able to come into our office hours and get free tutoring. Um, we met them at orientation, so they recognized our faces immediately when they came onto the campus and saw us continually throughout the rest of the semester. So they had friends from the beginning and had already a sense of community at the beginning. What makes the Culture Corps a successful program? Several reasons. First, it utilizes the university's most valuable resources for, for educational purposes, its students. Second, it provides valid and fulfilling employment and therefore financial aid to all participating students. Next, it gives students, especially international students, a chance to interact on a more personal level with the university community by providing them with valid leadership opportunities and educational experiences at Iowa State. Next, it, the Culture Corps also gives U.S. students who have studied abroad a chance to share their experiences with other students and the university community as well. However, the main reason why the Culture Corps is so successful is because the entire university community, the administration, the students, the faculty, the staff, are all working together towards one very important goal. The goal of making Iowa State an institution where internationalization is more than just a passing trend. The projects featured here are not blueprints. They are just a few examples of the limitless kinds of activities that can take place towards the internationalization of a campus. So I hope this video has inspired you uh, to think of new and creative ways to bring an internationalization to, into your environment. Whether you are a faculty member in engineering, a representative of a student organization, a staff in the residence halls, or any other member of the university community, you too can make a difference.